nothing less. We gotta make Ukrainian food together. You gots to. <laughs> Mary, I have three squirrels fighting each other for food. I love squirrels. I could seriously watch them all day, like squirrels and birds. Okay, this is almost there. Okay, it's for the taste and the aroma. Interesting. Thanks for the info as well. I love to learn from my people. I love to teach, but I also like to learn. And then when we add the water into the rice, it should really simmer heavily. And then I'm just getting out my steamer. I think it's over here. Bamboo steamer, <laughs> literally in the back of the cupboard. We haven't made dumplings for a bit. Sometimes we go through this, this time in our life when we eat a lot of like gyoza and steamed dumplings. Haven't done that lately. Hey, I dug it out. This is what we're using. My mom picked this up. This set $3 from a garage sale a couple years back. Honestly, can't beat that price. And like the people never even used it. Pro. Peeking at the carrots, they're looking good. Welcome back, Nike. They will be getting your burnt Nadia bread. Love it, Mary. Let's see what they think of it. Nice. Say hi to the waifu for me too, Nike. Okay, I think we're good for water now. Doesn't seem like it's toasting up too much more. And I learned this style of cooking rice. It's an Indian style, actually. She says, hi, hello. And hi, Billy Ravens, welcome in. Perfect. Maybe a bit cool, but that's why we're starting this early. Let that go, we'll let those two go. And now while we're waiting, I'm just gonna put this to the side. So nothing has really come up yet. And that way we can keep prepping our cabbage. Cause that's what's gonna get steamed up in the steamer pot. Thirteen minutes till we check on the carrots and the pork. How do we know when the rice needs the water? I actually added it a bit early. Just now, Josie. But usually the rice kernels, so they start out like translucent, right? Is they're kind of like see-through. As they toast, they will go more white colored and you won't be able to see through anymore. That's how you know that the kernels are toasted. It also smells a bit nutty as well. So usually those couple signs lets me know that it's time to add the water. And then, like I said, usually a nice sizzle when you put the water in, good to go. Almost went back there for my knife, but it's right here. Okay, so we used this cabbage, what, last week? It's got a little bit of brown on here, so I'm just gonna shave off literally the smallest amount that we can. And then we're gonna wedge this. We're gonna wedge it up for steaming. Leave that there for now, because we still have to cut the core out of the cabbage. So now, before we even cut this up, this is what I call like the protective layer of the cabbage. It's got a built-in plastic wrap, almost.